This is going to be a general overview of the user interface for Infinitone 2. Uh, I'm going to gloss over each of these sections really quickly just to give you a general orientation of where everything is and what it does. And in future videos, we'll dive in deep about what each section does and how you can use these sections in combination. So at the very top here is the main menu. This contains, most importantly, all of the user presets, and these are organized in different categories. There are also save functions and settings are available here. Now, each preset Infinitone comes with a synth sound. It's a bell sound in this case. Here is the synth menu, and there are various synth presets you can choose from if you want to change the sound. Uh, so let's change it to to this, the true triangle. Here is the scale section, and this allows you to change the scales in real time. And here is the morph section. Morphing from one chord or scale to another, this gives you full access to all of the parameters that allow you to do that. There's an automatic morph section up here, and if you want to move that manually with the slider, do the morph manually that's available here. This is the dynamic tuning section. This will be active in the dynamic tuning parameters. Dynamic tuning is uh, what allows Infinitone to respond to your playing in real time and actually tune what you're doing in real time according to what you play. Here is the synth macro section. Each synth preset has four macro parameters with which you can uh, adjust the synth sound. There's a little reverb on there. And here is the visualizer. And this allows you to see the representation of the waveform that's created when you play two or more notes together. And in just intonation, uh, as many of these tunings are, they create very distinct geometrical patterns. Uh, overlaid on the visualizer is an XY grid, which uh, allows you to adjust some expressive parameters in real time. Uh, in this case, you can see that the XY is down here. It's, it's set to LFO amount and LFO rate. This can be changed. The targets can be changed here. And the LFO in this case is shifting the stretch parameter of the tuning. Uh, here are three macro knobs. And this current preset, you can see the macro knobs are the same parameters as the XY grid here, and you'll see them move as I move this, but you can click down here and assign different targets to them as well. Uh, next is the scale viewer section. This shows you the spacing of the notes in the scale that you're playing. And it shows you them in relationship to standard 12 tone uh, positioning. So some notes will be sharper, some notes will be flatter. This gives you an orientation of where those notes are in the uh, pitch field. On the left here, it shows you what this leftmost note means uh, here, this, this red color. When it's set to scale, it will always be the first note in the scale. If it's set to fixed, it will be set, this reference point will be a fixed frequency, and you can see in relationship to that. Now these colors basically correspond to the uh, color wheel. So the octave is a bit like um, the, the entire spectrum of a color wheel. We'll get in more, more into that in a different video. Here is the fundamental frequency of the scale, and you can change this uh, if you want to change the key that you're playing in. Now down here is the keyboard mapping section, and this shows you how the scale is mapped uh, on your keyboard. Most presets uh, in Infinitone actually map the keys, map the notes to the white keys so that it makes it really easy to just go up and down those notes and find melodies and chords. And these numbers correspond to key triggers, which allow you to change the scales in real time. In some presets, you'll see actually multiple uh, notes here on one key that corresponds to a chord being activated on those keys. This button allows you to edit the key triggers. There's a stop all trigger. and this uh, function here is the scale bend function. And this actually will bend chord or scale to the next scale note, not just a fixed pitch. So whatever is the next in the scale, 
and that also works with your pitch wheel and you can adjust the number of steps it will jump using this parameter here um, for many presets such as this one here there's an option here to be to toggle between all keys or white keys only um, I like to often experiment with just the white keys so you can run up and down your keyboard and find things very easily but if you map them to the black and the white keys uh, it will give you more range in these larger scales um, as you can see the the scale tones are don't often correspond to what's actually the original notes are this is just sort of an open key mapping system up here you can save presets if you're working on them and here is the advanced view this is where you can customize all of the presets that you have in infinitone or create your own presets uh, i'm not going to go over the parameters here uh, in this video that will be reserved for another video and that's about it here's a secret little button where you can see all the people who have worked on infinitone and where we have worked on it morocco japan chile italy etc 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 it's truly an international effort so I look forward to seeing you in the subsequent videos where we will dive in deep for each of these individual parameters and also see how they all can work together.